Hello, this is I'm at it with Samuel Oke. Okay. This channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. Well, in today's lesson, we will be looking into an interesting trigonometric equation. I found this equation in one of um, the Mathematical Association of Nigerians, um, Math Olympiad, Man Math Olympiad. So, and um, it's um, 15 sine square x plus 11 cos x minus 17 equals 0. So without wasting time, let's go right into it. So you notice we have sine square x here. You probably remember that sine square x plus cos squared of x is equal to 1. It's one of the um, fundamental trigonometric identity. You can find less into that on this channel. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. So and from here we can in fact, that sine squares is equal to 1 minus cos squares, right? So let's simply go on and put 1 minus cos square x in place of sine square x. So we have um, 15, um, bracket open 1 minus cos square x and plus 11 cos x minus 17 equals 0, right? So let's open that bracket. So we have 15 minus um, 15 cos square x, right? and um, plus 11 cos x and minus 17 equals 0. Okay, so um, this would be negative 15 cos square x plus 11 cos x and minus 2, right? 15 minus 17 is negative 2 is equal to 0. So at this point, you should treat this like a, treat it as a quadratic. You will notice that it's of the quadratic form. So let us multiply this negative 15 by the negative 2 we have there. So we have 15 cos square x plus 11 cos x and um, plus 30. You will notice this is um, very much like a quadratic, right? So what multiplies, what two factor multiplies each other to give 30 and add up to give 11? So you notice 5 and 6 will do, will do, right? So 5 multiplied by 6 is 30, and um, plus 5 plus 6 is um, plus 11, right? So um, we'll simply go on and put um, 5 cos x and 6 cos x in place of um, 11 cos x. So we have negative cos square s plus 5 cos x and plus um, 6 cos x and minus 2 Remember, do not put the um, 30 you have there equals 0. So let's split this in two parts so that we can factor it in part. So um, notice um, for the very first bracket here, what's common with the two components in there? In there, we both have cos x in both, right? And we have 5 in both, right? So let's put 5 cos x on the outside of the bracket. We open a bracket and... Um, what multiply by 5 cos x to give negative 15 cos x? That should be negative 3, right? Negative 3 cos x, right? Good. So, and um, plus 1, right? Because um, 5 cos x will multiply by 1 to give 5 cos x. So, we go on and repeat that bracket we have there. So, we have negative 3 cos x um, plus 1, right? Zero. So, and um, 1 multiplied by negative 3 cos x to give plus 6 cos x. So, that's going to be negative 2. It's going to be negative 2, right? Multiplied by negative 3 gives plus 6, right? So, and um, please, if you are getting value from this lesson, remember to hit the like button, please, and subscribe if you'd like to see more educational content like this. So, let's go on with this. Taking the component outside the bracket, we have um, 5 cos x minus 2 and uh, multiplied by negative 3 cos x plus 1, all equal 0. So when we have um, a product of two factors like this and it equals 0, it's either both equal 0 or one of them equals 0. So we have this. So let us simplify the simple equations. So we have um, 5 cos x equals 2 or um, negative 3 cos x equals negative 1, right? So um, here we divide both sides by 5, and we have cos x equals 2 divided by 5, or 
um, cos x equals um, negative um, one all over negative one all over negative three, and you know that's going to be one over three, right? So um, we're going to need calculator at this point. So um, at least to press the cosine. So um, what is two divided by five first? So two divided by five is um, 0 0.4. So we have um, x equals inverse cos of 2 divided by 5 or s equals inverse cos at cos um, 1 all over 3. So we say x equals at cos 0 0.4 or x equals um, at cos um, inverse cos of um, 0 0.3333 that's um, 1 over 3, right? So when we press that with the calculator, what is the inverse cos of 0 0.4? Um, let me press that with the calculator here. So that will be 66, 66 um, point 0.42, right? So when we press um, our cos of 0 0.3333 with the calculator, and um and that is um seventy seventy point five three and please you should remember it's in degree okay and not in radian so um and that's a, it's a beautiful one it's an interesting one there is uh there are detailed lesson on um solving trigonometric equation and trigonometric identity on this channel and I'm going to put a link to that in the descriptions. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. Well, until next time, keep marting it and keep winning.